You have about 30 seconds before we lock and load. Go top off your coffee and get ready for the Gunsmiths. The Gunsmiths are brought to you by Williams Gunsight. Have questions about what's new in the market? What your gun is worth? The latest laws and regulations? Call the Gunsmiths at 810-743-8255. 743-8255. And now, your Gunsmiths, Jonathan and Jacob Smith. Uh, this is the Gunsmith Show, having fun on a Saturday morning with you. I hope you got that coffee filled up and you're enjoying our gun talk this morning, whether you're on your way to work right now or you're just sitting around the house listening or you're going to go out in the reloading room and do some reloading this morning. Whatever you're going to do, do it well and be a proud American. How well, does that sound? We're about to make the strongest transition I think we've ever done in the history of the show. <laughs> we're going from talking about CZ, the CZ-557, which if you get a chance, go to our youtube page yes. the gunsmith show and watch our video on that where we tell the story of it and you get to see it at on action at the range yeah. so see see jacob trying to catch some 30 out six brasses or flying out of the gun anyways <laughs> it was a bolt action out of similar you, you gotta practice on catching that brass as it comes out okay stopping it in your hand for that silent sniper shot you know yeah. what i mean and then we talked about the cz ring neck again yes uh, and we talk uh both fine made for uh, foreign made but perfectly good, sophisticated, very, fine firearms. Good, good, precise guns. And uh, now we're going to actually uh, delve into the high point line. Yes, and it is a it is a hundred and eighty degree turn, although they are they're they're all precise guns. They, they all are. work fine. They are. And are they the prettiest ones out there? And mm. some people might say that about the CZs. They might say, oh, "I've seen a lot prettier." But, you know, we found them to be nice, good quality guns, highly sought after. And on the other, on the opposite side of the coin, your basic entry level, I must defend myself guns. You know, and honestly, the first time I ever dealt with high points was at a place called Ammo and Guns on Fenton Road. A little shop called Ammo and Guns. And those guys were very common sense. I don't remember their names. I know a lot of you guys do. But they were common sense and they said, let's face it. You got to defend yourself. You need a gun you can grab quick. It's always going to be there. You don't want to have a, a, a custom gun or you don't want to have something that is uh, so fine you don't mind throwing it on the ground if you have to. Get a high point 45 or 9 mil, whatever it is, and make that your go-to gun. They work. They're heavy. If you run out of shells, you could, you know, break glass with it if you had to and do what you got to do. You could smash if pumpkins with it. If the boat's out of control, it can serve as the anchor. <laughs> no, the no, high they, point. Now, high point. What is a high point? Now, we had a caller last week that asked us that question. He was yes. interested in a high point and wanted to kind of know how we felt on it. Well, you know, some people don't want to spend 800 or or $1,000 on a pistol. And I don't blame them. I, I don't either. I, I've never considered myself a gun snob at all. I don't want to be that person that is. Oh, but I not, don't want to get real. in. I don't want to buy garbage, though. Yeah, I don't want to spend money and not be able to at least recoup what I spend on it after I've purchased it. I, In other words, that's why I don't go out and buy brand new cars, because you lose money the moment you buy them. Yep. So we always try to buy. In, we look at guns as an investment. Jacob and I, we both do. We buy them so that they either go up in value or we gain so much fun from them that it's worth having them. Yep. Now, that might be where we're at with high points. And I think that's where you are at with a high point. So what is a high point and what makes them different? Well, well high points are not only 100% American made, but they're 100% assembled in the USA and all their parts are from here as well. That's right. And that's important. And the Especially intention. in this day and age. Ex exactly. The intention of these, right from the factory, they're intended to be extremely affordable guns that work every time. That's the key. Now, each one of these hand, well, they have handguns and carbines. Yes, they do. They have a, almost like a just right carbine, just just a grab and go, uh, shoots pistol cartridges, and pricing is very, very fair on these things. Now, each of their firearms are tested, are, are well tested before they leave the factory. And they do that just to ensure, and they keep this promise, that they have the one of the lowest returns or lowest repair rates in fire in the firearms industry to this day. No kidding. Yet there are some gun shops that won't carry them. 
you know just won't well which is kind of would you I, rather sell a handgun that lists for less than two hundred dollars or would you rather sell oh a, gun a, that's a clock a clock for 550 yeah yeah well profit margins and numbers look better when you're selling 100 guns at 550 sure. versus 100 guns at 200 yeah and it keeps the hey, hey I, I look at it this way the guy might have more money guy or gal might have more money to spend on ammo exactly you know because you can go out and shoot a high point all day long for a whole weekend hey, yep. and not spend what you would have spent when you bought that new SIG or Glock. Now, another thing High Point has and prides himself in is a no questions asked uh, warranty. Whether you're the first owner or the fifth owner, you can return the gun to them and the service is done and repaired to you. Whether it's damage, just old age to the gun, or wear and tear, something broke and snapped off. They will that? fix it, no questions asked. That is outstanding. And that is rare. That's what really sets this company apart. And everything you find out about this company is that way. Uh, just hardcore, kind of like um, biker tough. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I get that feeling with them. It's uh, yes. Uh, just just um, uh, tough American-made guns. We're gonna have to get one or two or three or four and try them out and see what we think. Uh, I think we'll start with a, 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 a pistol and a matching carbine. And well, that's what I want to talk about here is that how you can match them up. You can match them up. And guess what, folks? If it ta- if it's the same caliber, it takes the same magazine. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, are they high-capacity magazines? No. But hey, that's not the intention here. Right. It's not a spray and prairie gun. It's a self-defense gun. Let's say you want a forty caliber handgun. Yes. Their handgun is called, well, one of their handguns, it's called the 40SW. Okay. Four and a half inch barrel, 35 ounces, it weighs empty. Wait, 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 what'd you say? Four and a half inch barrel. Yeah. 35 ounces. How many ounces? 35. That's pretty heavy. Yes. This is a strong, strong body of a weapon to have that much girth. No. <laughs> it must handle the recoil pretty well. These are, of a gun. all of their guns are plus P rated. No kidding. And it weighs that much, yet it still has a polymer frame. Isn't that amazing? Some heavy polymer. <laughs> yes, metallic polymer. Okay. No. Uh, now, it has a 10-shot magazine, 10-round capacity. I didn't know it had a polymer frame, to be honest with you. I thought it was uh, like cast aluminum or something. Well, so they, they say right on their description, it's polymer frame. Okay. Now, again, a lifetime warranty and 100% American-made parts and assembly. MSRP on this 40 caliber handgun. Yeah. $199. Say <laughs> it ain't so. Uh, that's MSRP. So that's not even what it's actually going to sell for. Right. Might sell for $179.95 or $189. Because there's not much markup in these. No, there's not. So, uh, you know, the guys that sell you these things, that are gun shops, thank them for carrying an all American made product first and then buy some ammo from them, you know? Yes. You know, don't buy it and then run right out and buy it from cheaper than dirt because guess what? It ain't cheaper than dirt. You know what I'm saying? That's the one thing I can say. It's true about cheaper than dirt. It ain't cheaper than dirt. Now, so uh, buy local, man. Buy let's say local you, all the time. Let's say you want to have a partner for this handgun. Hello, wanna, partner. Uh, hello. <laughs> Looking for another 40? My name is Miguel. <laughs> I will be your partner. 40 caliber partner. How about a okay. 40 caliber rifle? I, You know, this is the cool part. All right. Tell me more. They have a mo- They have a couple models. This one's the 4095 TS. I wonder where they came up with that one. I don't know. The other one is called a 40 SW. SW. Which this is the 4095-4095TS. Ta- no. Tactical. Maybe. 17 and a half inch barrel. Yeah. It weighs seven pounds. Well, that's, that's, that's understandable for this gun. And it has, again, the same 10 round magazine. Which is fine. It makes sense. Yeah. I've said it for years. That's why my buck mark, handgun and rifle, go hand in hand. Yes, they do. Uh, it makes sense if the you Ruger have... used to do it with their, with their, uh, um, their that, ri- that carbine rifle they had that was... Uh, the nine, police carbine. The police carbine, the 9 millimeter in the, ten, in the 40s. And, and uh, then the Marlin Camp 9s. Yes. Chiapa came out with the... the mags. Chiapa came out with the M1 carbine lookalike that took Beretta 92 magazines. Yes, shooting 9, nine millimeters. So, so it, again, here it is right here, all American made, though. Right. A seven-pound carbine, 17 and a half inch barrel. It comes with sling swivels and a scope base. And I see these things online all the time for sale that are all dressed up. They got them. They got flashlights on them. They yep. got lasers on them. They are home defense guns. And tell you what, 10 rounds of 40 cal out of a 17 and a half inch carbine. Imagine 
what a Liberty Ammunition 40 cal is going to scream out of that barrel. You're talking oh. probably well over 2,000 feet per second because the knockdown power from a 40 is amazing. Just absolutely amazing. Not only does it come with a scope base, it still has adjustable sights on top, so you still have your iron sight capabilities. Really? Black polymer stocks. Yep. It has an, a unique kind of a, I won't say quad rail on the front of it, but it's a... It's kind of industrial looking. Industrial looking. It almost looks like a, 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 a slightly lighter uh, uh, M14, the, the M1A squad rifle. What do they call that thing? Your, the uh, SOCOM, scout rifle. The SOCOM, SOCOM scout. Yes. yes. Kind of looks now, like that. You have a thumb safety. You have a safety on this. If really, what this carbine looks like is the handgun with a 17 and a half inch barrel and a butt pad or a butt stock welded to the back of it. Now, what does the butt stock look like? What's how, uh, how's it configured? Well, it's um, is it all polymer? It's all polymer. It's different. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, more well, of a we'll cloud looking. We'll have to get kind one. Kind of bubbly. Let's try. Let's get one in nine millimeter and one in forty. Are they have them in forty five or no? In the carbine? well, here's here's the kicker, folks. They come in 380. They come in 9 millimeter. They come in 40, and they come in 45. The 45s are nine rounds, and the rest are 10 rounds. Huh. That 45. You could hunt. You could deer hunt with it. You could deer hunt with the 40, but you'd you have to block the magazines. Well, that's okay. You can't have one that holds more than eight. That's okay. Yeah. Be very interesting. And uh, it would certainly do the trick with the right ammo. You f- and like you said, a 17 and a half inch barrel with that right ammo. Oh, did I tell you the MSRP on that rifle? No. Oh, the rifle, uh, list price on that rifle is $315. That's less than half of an AR-15. Of any of your current standard M4s on the market today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Less than half. For yeah. And if you're looking for a home defense rifle, why not go to something like this that's warranted forever? It's a pistol cartridge. It's not going to be finicky, probably. You're going to I've find these things feed no matter what. You're going to find ammo for it. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's almost like look at back to. Uh, it's almost the same price as a ten twenty two. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's uh, that's certainly something to consider because with an MSRP of three fifteen, I see them used all scoop all souped up, and they're they're only like three fifty. You know, well, you can, scopes and everything on them and extra mags. You know, heck, you could put an EOTech on here if you wanted to. If you wanted to. You if put that's a scope, the kind of sight you If like. you're in the type of mood to put on a scope or a <laughs> sight that weight costs more than the gun. Well, that would be. It's easy to do with this one. It would be. But either way, even with a red a, dot, a $39 say, a, red dot on this thing would be perfect. Or a laser or for a home laser defense. For home defense, yeah. Well, I tell you what, this sounds like quite a gun. So, hey, if you've got a high point story a high point rifle a high point carbine we want to hear from you we want to hear from you shoot us a message send us a picture on our facebook page the gunsmith show i know there's a lot of you out there there is i'm sure there is and don't forget you can always email us shooter at the gss.com now those those high point stories yes uh be descript tell us a little bit about it tell us what you got uh, how often you shoot it? You know, give us a little bit of background on it so we got a little, a little, a little feedback from you. All right, well, folks, it's that time. There's the music. It is. You Don't, know what that means? You gotta wait till next week for yeah. more of us. Yep. Well, we'll be back next Saturday, same time, same place, right here on 1470 WFNT and 1530 WLCO. And uh, Jake. Yes. I like I tell him every week: shoot straight and shoot often, everybody. Exactly. Be proud Americans. Join the NRA, and uh, and be glad you did. So for now, I'm John. And I'm Jake. God bless you, man. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next weekend.